start, I'm going to apply my Becca First Light Priming Filter. This primer helps to brighten up my dull skin and refreshes my complexion. For foundation, I'll be using my April Skin Rose Glam Foundation in the shade 23. I'll be using the rose shaped brush it comes with to apply the foundation onto my skin. First I like to use circular motions to buff the product in, then I'll use a swiping motion to smooth the foundation out. Next, I'll be highlighting and concealing with my Big Cover Cushion Concealer. I'm going to dot this on under my eyes and to the high points of my face. To blend the concealer out, I'm going to use this pointy blender from Sephora. It's similar to the Beauty Blender, but you just pop it over your finger and blend away. Moving on to contouring, I'm going to use the Pony Effect Arty Stick to slim down my face. I'm going to draw three lines, one underneath my cheekbone, one on my jawline, and a small line near my temples. Then I'm going to blend it out with my sponge. To set my base, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm going to press the powder into my skin using the pointy blender. For eyebrows, I'll be using this eyebrow pencil I bought from Japan. I'm going to start by filling in the center of my brows, then moving outwards to the tail. Next, I'm going to use smaller strokes and lighten up my pressure to fill in the start of my brows. To soften it up further, I'm going to use a flat brush to blend out the colour. Now I'm going to go in with concealer to clean up under my eyebrows and sharpen up under the arch. For my eyes today, I'll be using my Tarte Pro palette. First, I'm going to apply a bold all over my lid using my MAC 217 brush. Then I'm also going to apply that color onto my lower lash line and connect it up into the outer corner. To give my eyes more of a pop, I'm going to apply a brighter orange colored eyeshadow from Etude House. This color will go on the outer and inner corner of my eyes. I'm also going to blend that color onto my lower lash line. To add a subtle shimmer, I'm mixing ethereal and glam together and patting that onto the center of my lid. With a small pencil brush, I'm going to place some of that color onto my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to tightline with my Smashbox Always On Gel Liner. This step helps to make my top lashes look thicker and fuller. Now it's time for my favorite part, lashes. This is one of the styles I've designed for my collection. It's a light natural style that's suitable for hooded and small eyes. The band is really soft which makes it really comfortable to wear all day. I'll be launching this collection in the next month or so and you'll be able to purchase it online. Now that I've got my top lashes sorted, I need to give my lower lashes some love too. The Kevin Aquan Volume Mascara is my favourite mascara at the moment. I really like the size of the wand because it makes it really easy to apply on shorter lashes. Moving on to blush, I'm applying the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Blush. 
this product is like a blush and highlighter in one. I love applying this onto my cheekbones and blending it out into the temples. I also like to blend it in slightly with my eyeshadows. Finally, it's time for lipstick. To get the perfect spring shade, I'll be mixing two liquid lipsticks together, Mrs. Romper and Me So Pretty from Too Faced. Before I apply the lip colour, I'm going to neutralise my lip colour with foundation using my blender. Then I'm going to apply the lipstick using a lip brush. I'm going to put on my favourite contact lenses from Lil Moon. This colour is cream beige. So that's it to my spring makeup look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I've been working on my filming and editing game so I can bring you better quality videos. So if you prefer this format for makeup tutorials, please leave a comment and let me know below. Also remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye!